I just installed elementary OS Loki and um, I thought well maybe we should make movies also about it so I installed the study icons in the tweak tool here you'll see that it's possible to select a lot of studies let's start with the top the study icon you see the colors change here on the plank let's call it a plank it's probably not that that kind of uh, uh, command but and see what it is how it looks let's put it here and let's put this here so this is sardi icons control scroll is working okay let's keep it at that and then you can go over the icons now i have noticed that this file manager they're using and i didn't check what it was files it's called they it, it doesn't follow the icons directly so you have to close it and when you reopen it he has indeed found that the icons should have been changed so that's how you go you just quit everything here and see how it looks again so these are the sardi breeze dark icons coming from sardi and i did run already I didn't finish my sentence, it's coming from the, the breeze I can set. So this is already a script that ran. Sarte Colora has scripts inside of it and we changed it from orange to red. And we will end this here and go to the next Sarte Flat. As you see in the bottom, it's going to be flat. Just thought, well, maybe I should press control. Well, we see that it is blank in the meantime but um, there's the behavior pressure reveal window dutch there's a lot well, there are some things you can change here and transparent as well maybe this one so okay let's go on sadly flat so this is how sadly flat looks and when you go to the directory it's like that flat chlora did we run it already yes we ran a script we were testing if the scripts were run were working and as you can see it has some difficulty sometimes to keep track of the the icon but uh, don't don't worry just log out and log out and log in and then it will be fixed and start flat flat magic majestic is looking like this even more icons where he has some trouble with it it's not due to the sadly icons and sadly flexible all is blue and this is the bluish kind of icons sadly flexible arc these are the arc icons Uh, it goes flexible if you want to go all white and mono is going more here and look like that mono arc shouldn't it's the same as the other one arc blue so i'm gonna skip it get a loose and reopen Sadi Monocolora, uh, you did run the script, so this is the polo script, kind of like the, the color combination. And then Mono Mint X Gray, close it, open it. These are the Mono Mint X Gray icons. And Mono Mint X Colora, I did run also, yes, the polo, so all is polarized. And then the study on a vertex or vertex. So everything seems to work fine. And let's go back to an initial choice. Like this one. Alright. Closing, opening it again. And it will catch up, maybe. I do think we, you need to log out and log in so these pictures will be also conform to the icon theme you chose. 
quick look. What did I change? I, ch I had to change this little icon here. And I had to add this little icon here. So this is how it looks. That's a normal icon, I think. Now I'm gonna check that out. Why it's look like this. Because of the new mix selection, I think. And then it's no problem. So the question is, is it coming from one of my icons, teams? Then it's okay, no problem. Uh, wrong button, this button, I need this. Uh, question is, is Sadimono also the same? If that's the same, is that the case, then it's fine. Two, three, and four. So, no, it really is coming from the Sadimono Numix, uh, so the Numix kind of look. And if you don't want that little icon there, just delete this icon and it's again a Sadimono uh, icon. That's why it's so important to install them all because they inherit from one and the other so this is the look um, well I do think nothing there's nothing to be said it's an uh, interesting operating system to take a look at it's um, sometimes a little bit strange to find your way around but it's like that always when you're on a new system and you have to, to figure out uh, how to use it if interested, you, I can point you to the GitHub of Eric Dubois, where I keep track of changes and I make little scripts so that next time I have to install it, it goes a little bit quicker. And I have these uh, well, uh, elements that I install then instantly. So take a look maybe if you're interested and um, take care.